Hey, <laughs> it's been a while. What up you guys? It is your girl Liba back at it again with another video and we have yet another resin statue unboxing today. I know that I have been doing quite a bit of resin statue content on this channel, but I just can't help it. Um, my resin statue packages have been coming in aligned with the time that I have sat down to film my content. So we're just getting back to back to back resins. But it works out for me because I am a resin statue collector. So yeah, I've actually gotten in quite a few figures since I filmed because I know I took a longer hiatus than I anticipated. So you will be seeing as time progresses on this channel, a lot of hauls. And this is the start of those many hauls that I have of all of the figures that I've gotten since I've been on my YouTube hiatus. I got my resin statue. I got a figure from the native inventory sale, a grail. I'm really excited about it. As well as just a bunch of like pre-owned pickups and um, pre-orders that I've had. And a bunch of them are shipping to me just cause I'm using surface mail. So, you know, I'm kind of collecting at a slower rate. The economy's bad. The economy's bad. We have to be fiscally responsible. However, today I have the one fourth scale Celestial Silkworm Micro Monster Resin Statue by Gamma Studios. And it's gonna be a chill unboxing. You know, it's a Sunday, it's rainy outside. I wanted to wear my pajamas, my Barbie pajamas, and just kind of like chill and hang out and talk about resin statues and talk about life and all of that dealio. So it's gonna be really fun. So without further ado, I'm gonna go grab my resin and we can get into this unboxing. So I actually lied to you. Before we get into today's video, I have started a Patreon. So if you like my channel and you wanna support me, you should head over and subscribe to my Patreon. I've tried to make it as affordable as possible. So my lowest tier is $3 and you'll be able to access everything that I've ever gotten. So if you wanna only like subscribe and just watch everything in one go in the future and then subscribe only for that month, I made it so that you could do that. But for my first ever post, I'm gonna be unboxing the native Anubis figure that I picked up in the native inventory sale. And this is one of my really, really big grails. So if you want to see my unboxing of that, head over to my Patreon because it is live on there now. And if you subscribe to the Patreon, thank you for supporting my content because it's going to be really helpful for the future. And if you don't want to subscribe to the Patreon, you're not under any obligation to, you know, I won't be salty about it. But sorry about that. Let's get back into today's video. Okay, so I brought the box over and I hope this doesn't look too weird just because I am trying a new layout. This is how the wall looks behind my desk. You know, I have all my custom dendroids, my Sakura Miko shrine, a new detail. Um, but here's the resin statue with the Gamma Studios one. Kind of annoying that they put the shipping label on the box, but you can see it says Gamma Studios and the number of resin that I got from the lot. It's, it's a super limited resin statue. And this was one of those resins that when I saw it posted, on Lep Studios Instagram page. I was like, that is an instant pre-order for me. Like I knew a million percent for sure that like I had to have it. So I'm really happy to get this in. I thought this statue was gonna release in 2024, but it released early. So that's really cool. But also a little concerning cause I'm not sure like where to put it. And um, this is the most expensive resin statue that I've paid for. I have a bunch of other resin statues that have like gone up in value since I've bought them. Like my Chang Studio Gutado shot up to like $600 aftermarket. Same with the Magic Cube Nezuko, but this is the most expensive that I've paid retail. And let me take this box out of the cardboard and I will talk about how much I spent. Still that over there. <laughs> So this box is much smaller than I anticipated for it to be, but this is the box for the Micro Monster uh, resin. It's much smaller than I expected it for a one fourth scale statue, but it is like an original creation of Gamma Studios. And she is supposed to be like a celestial silkworm, so like a butterfly fairy. So I assume that's why like it's one fourth scale because she's like a smaller character. However, what I paid retail for this statue is about $535 USD. So she is super expensive. So let's crack into this statue and let's talk about Gamma Studio because I really like them and I think that they're really cool. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so it was really hard to get the lid off, but within the Gamma Studio box, she's also strapped in. So she's pretty packed in. 
Ooh, we're in. Um, so first things first, just like my last resin, this one is very paint smelling, very, very construction smelling, if that makes sense. I've noticed this a lot lately with resins, but like not all of my resins have come up smelling like construction. And I'm not like too particularly worried about that because Gamma Studios is a really, really, really nice studio, which I do want to talk about why I like them so much, even though this is my first resin from them. But first, let me just show you guys how she looks like in the packaging as delicately as I can, because I'm a bit of a klutz. Here's the packaging for the statue. It's much, much smaller than I thought she would be, which is really nice because I'm kind of running out of space in this current apartment. I didn't expect to get this until I moved, but We'll find a place for her. I think I want to put her behind Percival and Lacus Klein. Um, so I'm gonna put this box like over here to the side where you can't see it and we'll begin building her and talk about Gamma Studios and other stuff and things. We have our workspace to begin putting together this resin. Didn't come with any instructions, but we will see. So I really like Gamma Studios. I think that they're a really nice studio um, because they make a lot of licensed pieces. So if you look them up, you will see that a lot of their catalog is licensed stuff. And if it's not licensed, like it's in collaboration with the artist. Um, so they have a really good reputation and they do not only license stuff, but like a lot of like mythological stuff. Um, and I really like them for that. My friends have statues from them and they've had like great reviews. Um, so I can't wait to see. But I'm a little concerned, okay? Cause this base is broken. Here we go. But um, as you can see right here, this um, chunk of the base broke off. And it's definitely not supposed to break if you look at um, this piece right here. Like this was, Definitely not supposed to break, so it's highly concerning to me because what the hell? I think that this is a QC issue with this resin because I have a follower in my Discord, which if you're not a part of and you're over 18, you should join. <laughs> um, but I have a follower in my Discord who also got this resin and like this part also broke. And I'm very concerned about it because like if you spend over $500 retail on a resin, like it should be coming in flawless condition. So that's really concerning and I'm kind of annoyed, but um, you can see the bottom of the base has this really nice like pattern. And overall, I would say for the like cyberpunky spacey details, it's really well painted. Like I think it's really nicely aged looking and the paint job is spectacular, unlike both of these pieces. Um, but it's just a major disappointment for this to happen. Um, like I don't think a resin this expensive should have broken. So I'm really, really aggravated like on the inside about this. It's a little wobbly because it's broken. Um, so we will have to see if it is structurally sound, but I'm definitely gonna reach out to the shop I bought this from, which is Speculative Fiction to like get like a replacement or like a partial refund just cause like that's concerning for a $500 resin for it to like shake like that and I'm, I'm peeved. I'm peeved because Gamma Studios has a really good reputation. So what the heck? So taking out the next piece, we have the main body of the girl, the micro monster, and she is just a torso and a head and arms, uh, no legs, um, which is fine because it kind of works with like the Celestio silkworm, like cyberpunk vibe. And honestly, looking at her, sorry, I had to take a moment to look. She's fucking amazing. This is one of the best resins I've ever seen. So you can see that she's painted pretty intricately and pretty detailed. Um, if you look near her pelvis, near her bikini region, they painted like blue lines, like the way you would see on my arm, blue lines for like her veins. And I really just think everything about this statue is really nice, like very well painted, super gorgeous, like shading and detail work, little like, things that like you would not have seen before. I think she's amazing. I love the like wet look of the fabric and the pink and gray shading for her hair. It's supposed to just like a flat white hair. I think her hair face is really gorgeous. Um, 
Looks like her eyes are water slide decals and then the rest of the face is in fact hand painted. She looks almost like a porcelain doll. And there is like a really nice glitter detailing on the ears and the back. Like it's just like she, her skin and her body looks alive. Um, I'm gonna cover up her booty, but I don't know if you can see more of the like skin like detailing, like the redness of the flush of her skin and more blue veins. Just like really beautiful and gorgeous details. This next piece is uh, something that I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's another arm, like a cyberpunky arm. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna have to like refer to the reference pictures to build her because I just. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> Here we have the coin, the authenticity coin. I love a little authenticity coin. It's just such a like luxe thing. So you can see the Game of Studios coin. Let me see. It says the version number and then on the back it has the art of the lovely lady. It's really nice. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I'm taking out of the box are her wings. So both of the wings are identical and they have this really nice like pearl shimmer sheen to them. Really gorgeous fading, a shading, really gorgeous shading of like black to pearl to translucent. Really nice paint job on the silver, just like, and some like really nice clear effects. These are definitely not resin. These are definitely plastic, but just overall a really gorgeous piece. We have two wings. Pretty exciting. Okay, so I did take some pictures of the damages on my statue to send to Speculative Fiction, but I am really peeved that it, I'm still peeved that it came broken, cause what the heck, man? What the heck? I'm kind of using inference here to put her together, but maybe I should grab a picture. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna help me. I feel like this needs to, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Oh, okay. Maybe here. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I didn't notice this, but there was a notch on her leg. So she just slotted in right here. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, so if we have her here, this is pretty unstable though because of the broken base, which I'm still peeved about, but we will see what happens with spec fiction. And then I think we just put her wings in. Um, so let's do that. We did it. That was, <laughs> that, I think that took me shorter than I expected. Um, but look how concerning that is. I really hate that this is not like, what's the opposite of broken, unbroken? Yeah, wow. Okay, but I'm gonna put her off to the side so we can look at her together. Oh, I really like her. I didn't realize this before, but the shading of some of her parts is pink. And I think that they did a really nice job using the clear plastic bits. I will say overall, her magnets are very shaky and um, her hair is kind of separated a bit from like her head like a tiny bit and definitely the QC issues with the base concern me a lot, especially since it's like a kind of like a curved thing dependent upon this, but yeah, I think she's amazing. Wow, she's so amazing. Oh my God. I think this is one of the most beautiful resins I've ever gotten. Like I, wow, she's amazing. She's everything. I don't have any figures that are like cyberpunky like this. I think this is a really cool addition because I feel like it's like the perfect kind of cyberpunk. It's totally my style. Like a very gorgeous girl who's cyberpunk, you know? Like she's not just your typical like streetwear. Although I do feel like I need more streetwear stuff for my collection. Yeah, I love her. Oh my God. Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, so that was it for today's chill unboxing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you liked seeing my new resin um, because I really love her. I am very disappointed about the base being broken and I'm definitely gonna reach out to Speculative Fiction, the shop that I bought the resin from, to see like if I can get 
a replacement because I just feel like very unconfident that this is going to be stable forever even though it is being supported by this little like joint right here um overall though i'm very happy to add this resin to my collection despite the qc issues she is gorgeous but again i'm just gonna say it if you're spending so much money on a figurine i feel like that figurine better look amazing so it's kind of disappointing to me because this was one of my most highly anticipated resin statue pre-orders with all of the negatives being said i again and i'm feeling very repetitive and super duper happy to have her in my collection i think she's really gorgeous i think she's a unique stunning piece um and i just can't wait to like look upon her every time I see her in my collection. <laughs> so if you like this video, you should go ahead and support my channel by giving me a like, a subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Leave me a comment. I really love reading people's comments. I try to apply to every single one. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys next time. I don't really have much else to say, and you've already listened to me ramble for so long. So I shall see you guys next time. Bye.